Unit One. Leisure activities. Page six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Check out this book, Fop. My mini guide to dog training. Sounds great. Max will like it too. Last weekend we learned some tricks. I love to watch him. It's so much fun. Have you found your craft kit? Yes, I found this one. It's got everything: beads, stickers, wool, buttons. I don't know. It'll take all my savings. But it's right up your street. Nick, what's that? It's a CD of Vietnamese folk songs. I'll listen to it tonight. And you'll be able to improve your Vietnamese. Ha ha! Not sure about that, but I think I'll enjoy listening to the melodies. Look at the language website I sent you. It'll help you learn Vietnamese more easily. Yes, I liked reading Doraemon comics while I was learning Japanese. Stop reading comics. I'll bring you my favourite short story this Sunday when we play football. Sorry, but we have to hurry. Mum and Dad are waiting. We need to buy some tools to build a new house for Max this weekend. Unit one. Page seven. Getting started. Activity two. Find words or phrases in the box to describe the photos. Then, listen to check your answers. One. Playing computer games. Two. Playing beach games. Three. Doing DIY. Four. Texting. Five. Visiting museums. Six. Making crafts. Unit one. Page nine. A closer look. Two. Activity two. Tick the appropriate box. Then, listen to check. One. I love eating spicy food. I love to eat spicy food. Two. Jane enjoys running. Three. Feng detests doing DIY. Four. I prefer reading poetry. I prefer to read poetry. Five. Do you fancy watching TV? Unit one. Page nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Complete the words under the pictures with br or pr. Listen to check your answers and repeat. One. Apricot. Two. Bridge. Three. Bracelet. Four. Bread. Five. Princess. Six. President. Seven. Present. Eight. Broccoli.
Unit One. Page Nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity Six. Listen and repeat. One. She loves making apricot jam. Two. My dad likes making bread in his free time. Three. Hien. Is our club president. Four. Mai keeps all her bracelets in a beautiful box. Five. You will need a brush if you want to paint your room. Six. This is a wonderful present. Thanks so much. Unit One. Page thirteen. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to the radio program and answer the questions. Program, we'll share with you some cool ways to hang out with your best friends after a busy week at school. Basically, you can hang out indoors or outdoors. If you like staying indoors, ask your parents if you can invite one or two friends over. Make some popcorn. Watch a movie. It's more comfortable than going to the cinema. Or if you're feeling creative, you can make crafts together. You'll feel satisfied once you finish something. If you fancy being outdoors, play some sports together. Football, badminton, biking—you name it. Or it can simply be a relaxing walk in the park. All these activities are good for your physical health. Do you prefer something more exciting? Go downtown and do some people watching. It's fun. If you like something more organised, go to cultural centres, libraries, and museums. Educate yourself while having fun. Unit One. Page thirteen. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again and complete the table. Week's program, we'll share with you some cool ways to hang out with your best friends after a busy week at school. Basically, you can hang out indoors or outdoors. If you like staying indoors, ask your parents if you can invite one or two friends over. Make some popcorn, watch a movie. It's more comfortable than going to the cinema. Or if you're feeling creative, you can make crafts together. You'll feel satisfied once you finish something. If you fancy being outdoors, play some sports together. Football, badminton, biking—you name it. Or it can simply be a relaxing walk in the park. All these activities are good for your physical health. Do you prefer something more exciting? Go downtown and do some people watching. It's fun. If you like something more organised, go to cultural centres, libraries, and museums. Educate yourself while having fun.
Unit Two. Life in the countryside. Page sixteen. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Win speaking. Hi, Win. How's your stay there? Nick. Hi. Well, it's more exciting than I expected. What are you doing? Lots of things. It's harvest time, so we help load the rice onto buffalo-drawn carts, ride it home, and dry it. Have you ever ridden a cart? No, but I'd like to. And sometimes I go herding the buffaloes with the boys. You've made new friends. Yeah, right on my first day. They came and took me to the paddy fields to fly kites. Where can you buy a kite in the countryside? The people here don't buy kites; they make them. My grandfather's made me the largest, most colourful kite I've ever had. It looks great up there in the sky. Oh, I'm so envious. <laughs> I guess I live more happily here, and there's still a lot more to explore. Sounds great. And everything seems to move more slowly here than in the city. I wish I could join. Unit two. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Activity one. Listen and repeat the words. One. Slow. Two. Colorful. Three. Friendly. Four. Hard. Five. Brave. Six. Boring. Seven. Inconvenient. Eight. Fast. Nine. Peaceful. Ten. Nomadic. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and repeat the words. Pay attention to the initial clusters. One. Blackberry. Two. Clothing. Three. Climb. Four. Blind. Five. Click. Six. Clay. Seven. Bloom. Eight. Blossom. Nine. Clock. Ten. Clear. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Listen and circle the word you hear. One. Blame. Two. Blast. Three. Blue. Four. Clock. Five. Close. 
Unit 2. Page 19. Pronunciation. Activity 7. Listen to the sentences and repeat. 1. The wind is blowing so hard. 2. These people have climbed to the top of the mountain. 3. The tree is in full bloom. 4. Look at the clear blue sky. 5. Blind people can read with braille. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 1 Listen to a boy talking about changes in his village and tick the changes he mentions. I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen again and say if the sentences are true or false. I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 3 Listen again and answer the questions in no more than four words.
I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life. Unit three. Peoples of Vietnam. Page twenty six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, we'd like to know something about the cultural groups of Vietnam. Right. Is it true that there are fifty-four ethnic groups in our country? Exactly. How interesting! I'm curious about them now. Which group is the largest? Well, the Viet or King have the largest number of people, accounting for about eighty-six percent of the population. Fifty-three others are called ethnic minority peoples. And where do they live? All over the country. Some groups like the Thai, Hmong. Yao live mostly in the mountainous regions in the north, and the Cham, Khmer, Ere live in the central highlands and some southern provinces. I see. And do they speak their own languages? Yes, and they have their own ways of life and customs and traditions. That's awesome. I'd like to find out more about them. Okay. I'll show you round and tell you some interesting. Unit three. Page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen. And repeat the following words: skateboard, stamp, speech, display, first, station, instead. Crisp. School. Basket. Space. Task. Unit three. Page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen again, and put them in the right column according to their sounds. Skateboard. Stamp. Speech. Display. First. Station. Instead. Crisp. School. Basket. Space. Task.
Unit three. Page thirty three. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to the passage and tick true or false. Five coloured sticky rice is an important traditional dish of many ethnic minorities in the northern mountainous regions. People call the dish five coloured sticky rice because it has five colours: red, yellow, green, purple, and white. The things that create the colours are not chemicals, but natural roots and leaves. The five colours of the dish represent five elements of life, according to Vietnamese beliefs. Yellow is earth, red is fire, green is plants, white is metal, and purple or black is water. People believe that these five elements create harmony between heaven and earth. Five coloured sticky rice is usually made and enjoyed at Tet, in festivals and ceremonies, on special occasions, and whenever the family has guests. Unit three. Page thirty-three. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again, and complete the sentences. Five coloured sticky rice is an important traditional dish of many ethnic minorities in the northern mountainous regions. People call the dish five coloured sticky rice because it has five colours: red, yellow, green, purple, and white. The things that create the colours are not chemicals, but natural roots and leaves. The five colours of the dish represent five elements of life, according to Vietnamese beliefs. Yellow is earth. Red is fire, green is plants, white is metal, and purple or black is water. People believe that these five elements create harmony between heaven and earth. Five coloured sticky rice is usually made and enjoyed at Tet, in festivals and ceremonies, on special occasions, and whenever the family has guests. Unit four. Our customs and traditions. Page thirty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Today we're going to learn about customs and traditions. Do you think they're the same? I think they're different, but it's hard to explain how. In my opinion, a custom is something that has become an accepted way of doing things, and a tradition is something we do that is special and is passed down through the generations. Yes, spot on. Give me an example of a custom. My family has this custom of eating dinner at seven p.m. sharp. Really? Yes, we have to be at the dinner table on time. That's interesting. How about a tradition, Fum? We have a family tradition of visiting the pagoda on the first day of every lunar month. You're kidding! No, no, we've followed this tradition for generations. You've mentioned family, but what about social customs and traditions, Nick? 
Well, in the UK, there are lots of customs for table manners. For example, we have to use a knife and fork at dinner. Then there's a British tradition of having afternoon tea at 4 p.m. Sounds lovely. Now, for homework, you should find information about a custom or tradition. You're doing many presentations next week. Unit four. Page forty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Complete the words under the pictures with spr or str. Then listen and repeat. One. Straw. Two. Street. Three. Spring. Four. Spray. Five. Astronaut. Six. Frustrated. Seven. Espresso. Eight. Newsprint. Unit four. Page forty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Listen and circle the words with spr and underline the words with. Stra. Then, say the sentences. One. In my family, all the traditions of our ancestors are strictly followed. Two. The custom of saying hello to strangers has spread through our community. Three. In our district, it's the custom for residents to sweep the streets on Saturday mornings. Four. That film strip really highlighted our customs and traditions. Five. Parents usually want their offsprings to follow the family traditions. Unit four. Page forty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to Mai's presentation, and complete the table with no more than three words from the recording. Today I'm going to tell you about the Sway dance, a traditional dance of the Thai ethnic group in Vietnam. Thai people have followed this spiritual tradition for generations. The Sway dance expresses people's work in life and wishes for a happy and wealthy life. It is performed in both public and private gatherings, such as celebrations. Festivals or family reunions. The swear dance has more than thirty forms, based on the first six ancient forms. The most popular form is the swear vum, or circle dance, 
because it expresses social unity. People, young or old alike, join hands to make a circle around the fire and dance to the music. Besides the circle dance, there are dances with conical hats, paper fans or scarves. Old people say they shouldn't break with this tradition because it reflects Thai culture and lifestyle. As a Thai folk song goes, without the swear dance, the rice won't grow and people won't get married. Unit 4 Page 45 Skills 2 Listening Activity 3 Listen again and tick true or false. Today I'm going to tell you about the Sue dance, a traditional dance of the Thai ethnic group in Vietnam. Thai people have followed this spiritual tradition for generations. The Sue dance expresses people's work in life and wishes for a happy and wealthy life. It is performed in both public and private gatherings, such as celebrations, festivals or family reunions. The swear dance has more than 30 forms based on the first six ancient forms. The most popular form is the swear vum or circle dance because it expresses social unity. People young or old alike join hands to make a circle around the fire and dance to the music. Besides the circle dance, there are dances with conical hats, paper fans or scarves. Old people say they shouldn't break with this tradition because it reflects Thai culture and lifestyle. As a Thai folk song goes, without the swear dance, the rice won't grow and people won't get married. Unit 4 Page 43 Communication Activity 3 Now, listen to Nick giving a presentation on table manners in Britain and check your answers. In the UK, we eat around the dining table. We follow lots of table manners. Firstly, we use cutlery. You know, knives, forks and spoons to eat most of the food. We hold the fork in the left hand and the knife in the right. You should hold the handle of the knife in your palm and your fork in the other hand with the prongs pointing downwards. There is also a spoon and a fork for dessert. When you finish eating, you should place your knife and fork with the prongs upwards on your plate. Secondly, you should never use your own cutlery to take more food from the serving dish. Use the serving spoon. Now, if there's bread on the table, you can use your hands to take a piece. Then, break off a small piece of bread and butter it. Thirdly, if you are a guest, you have to wait until the host or hostess starts eating and you should ask another person to pass the food. Next, never chew with your mouth open 
and don't talk with food in your mouth. Unit 5 Festivals in Vietnam Page 48 Getting started Activity 1 Listen and read. Hey, I'm visiting Vietnam this spring. I really want to see a festival there. Really? Well, how about the Hue Festival? What's that? And when is it? It's in April. There's lots to see. A grand opening ceremony, an Ao Yai fashion show, a Dem Phuong Dong or Oriental night show, royal court music performances and sporting activities like human chess, boat races. Sounds great! How about festivals in February or March? Well, there's the Tut holiday. Why don't you come for that? Are you sure? But it's your family reunion. Sure! Come and join the celebration. To welcome Tut, we prepare a five-fruit tray and make jam and chunk cakes. It's hard to explain on the phone. Just come. You won't regret it. Thanks, Zung. Yes. Then, on the twelfth day of the first lunar month, I'll take you to Bac Ninh province, which is north of Hanoi, to see the Lim Festival. Slow down, Zung. The what festival? Lim. There's traditional Quan Ha singing, which is performed on dragon boats, and folk games, like swinging on huge bamboo swings, wrestling. Unit 5 Page 50 A Closer Look 1 Pronunciation Activity 4 B. Now listen and repeat the words. Competition, commemoration, procession, preservation, confusion, magician. Musician, vegetarian, companion. Unit 5, page 50. A closer look, 1. Pronunciation. Activity 5 Listen and stress the words below. Pay attention to the endings. 1. Procession 2. Companion 3. Production Four, competition. Five, politician. Six, musician. Seven, historian. Eight, librarian. Unit 5 Page 53 Communication Activity 2 Now listen to an interview between a TV reporter and a man about a festival to check your answers. <laughs> Good 
morning. Can I ask you some questions about this festival? Yes, of course. What is the festival called? Ok Bom Bop. It's held by our ethnic group in Shop Chang on the fourteenth and fifteenth evenings of the tenth lunar month. Who do you worship at the festival? Our moon god. We thank him for giving us a good harvest and plenty of fish in the rivers. What do you do during the festival? First, we have a worshiping ceremony at home under the bamboo archway, or at the pagoda. When the moon appears, the old pray to the moon god, and the children raise their clasped hands to the moon. Sounds great. So, what are the offerings? Green rice flakes, coconuts, potatoes. And pear cakes. Do you do any other activities after that? Sure. Then we float beautiful paper lanterns on the river, and the next evening we hold thrilling dragon boat races. Unit five. Page fifty-three. Communication. Activity three. Listen to the interview again and complete the table below with the answers to the suggested questions. Good morning. Can I ask you some questions about this festival? Yes, of course. What is the festival called? Ok Bom Bop. It's held by our ethnic group in Shop Chang on the fourteenth and fifteenth evenings of the tenth lunar month. Who do you worship at the festival? Our moon god. We thank him for giving us a good harvest and plenty of fish in the rivers. What do you do during the festival? First, we have a worshiping ceremony at home under the bamboo archway, or at the pagoda. When the moon appears, the old pray to the moon god, and the children raise their clasped hands to the moon. Sounds great. So, what are the offerings? Green rice flakes, coconuts, potatoes, and pear cakes. Do you do any other activities after that? Sure. Then we float beautiful paper lanterns on the river, and the next evening we hold thrilling dragon boat races. Unit five. Page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to a tour guide giving information about the Zom Festival, and circle the correct answer, A, B. Or C. The Zum Festival is celebrated every year in Funling Commune, Shoksan District, Hanoi. This festival commemorates the hero Saint Gyeong. He is considered a mythical hero because he grew from a three-year-old child. Into a giant overnight. He is worshipped for defending the country from foreign invaders, the An. Although this festival is held from the sixth to the twelfth day of the fourth lunar month, people start preparing traditional clothing for the procession and for various festival performances one month beforehand. During the festival, the procession starts at the Mother Temple, and goes to Tung Temple, where a religious ceremony is performed. When night falls, a Tiao play is performed. Then the festivities end with a Thanksgiving procession on the twelfth. This festival shows our love for the motherland and the preservation of our cultural heritage. Unit five. 
Page fifty five. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen to the talk again, and write answers to the questions below. The Zum Festival is celebrated every year in Funling Commune, Shoksan District, Hanoi. This festival commemorates the hero Saint Gyeong. He is considered a mythical hero because he grew from a three-year-old child into a giant overnight. He is worshipped for defending the country from foreign invaders, the An. Although this festival is held from the sixth to the twelfth day of the fourth lunar month, people start preparing traditional clothing for the procession and for various festival performances one month beforehand. During the festival, the procession starts at the Mother Temple and goes to Tung Temple, where a religious ceremony is performed. When night falls. A chow play is performed. Then the festivities end with a thanksgiving procession on the twelfth. This festival shows our love for the motherland and the preservation of our cultural heritage. Unit six. Folk tales. Page fifty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. I phoned you around nine p.m. last night, but no reply. Oh, I was doing some internet research on Vietnamese legends for my project. Have you found one you like yet? Not really. Can you suggest anything? We have lots of legends, folk tales, and fables. A popular one is the legend of Lac Long Wung and Ao Ke. Oh yeah, what's it about? Well, it's about the origins of the Vietnamese people. Who are the main characters? Lac Long Wung, the Dragon King of the Ocean, Ao Ke, a fairy, and their sons. And what's the story? Let me see. Lac Long Wung married Ao Ke. She gave birth to a bag of one hundred eggs. Which produced one hundred baby boys. One hundred baby boys—that's a lot. And some years later, Lac Long Wung missed the sea, so he took fifty of their sons to the sea, and Ao Ke took the others to the mountains. Those boys were the ancestors of the Vietnamese. What an interesting legend it is! I think I found the subject of my project. Unit six, page fifty-nine. Getting started. Activity two. Match the words with their definitions. Then, listen, check, and repeat. One. A very old traditional story from a particular place that was originally passed on to people in a spoken form, fable. Two. An ancient story about brave people or magical events that are probably not true. Fairy tale. Three. An imaginary story, typically involving magic or fairies, usually for children. Folk tale. Four. Traditional imaginary short story that teaches a moral lesson, typically using animal characters. Legend.
Unit six. Page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen and repeat the sentences, paying attention to intonation. Do they have rising or falling intonation? One. What a colourful hat she is wearing. Two. What a time we had today. Three. What beautiful eyes she has. Four. What a nice day it is. Five. What good news it is. Unit six. Page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Practice these sentences. Then listen and repeat. One. What a beautiful princess she is. Two. What brave knights they are. Three. What a big nose the wolf has. Four. What a fierce ogre it is. Five. What a handsome prince he is. Unit six. Page sixty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to the fairy tale, the princess and the dragon, and correct the following statements. Once upon a time. There was a king and a queen who lived in a castle with their beautiful daughter. One night, an ugly ogre captured the princess, and put her in his tall, dark tower. The king and the queen were very sad. They promised to give gold to the knight that rescued the princess. Many knights wanted to rescue her. But they all ran away when they reached the tower and saw the ogre roaring with anger. One day, a dragon was flying over the tower when he heard the princess cry for help. The dragon flew down to the tower, took a big fiery breath, and blew the ogre far away. The dragon rescued the princess from the tower. And gently put her on his strong back. They flew back to the castle. The king and the queen were so happy. The dragon turned into a handsome prince and married the princess. They all lived happily ever after. Unit six. Page sixty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again.
Fill in the missing words. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen who lived in a castle with their beautiful daughter. One night, an ugly ogre captured the princess, and put her in his tall, dark tower. The king and the queen were very sad. They promised to give gold to the knight that rescued the princess. Many knights wanted to rescue her. But they all ran away when they reached the tower and saw the ogre roaring with anger. One day, a dragon was flying over the tower when he heard the princess cry for help. The dragon flew down to the tower, took a big fiery breath, and blew the ogre far away. The dragon rescued the princess from the tower. And gently put her on his strong back. They flew back to the castle. The king and the queen were so happy. The dragon turned into a handsome prince and married the princess. They all lived happily ever after. <laughs>